Yay! So, I shaved my head. And I'm in Dolores Park because it's open and I am waiting for yoga because that is the thing I do. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about this book, Virtual Art from Illusion to Immersion. It's written by Alex Grew. And it's really interesting. Um, one of the first pieces of work that he introduces in the book is from antiquity. It's from 60 BCE. And it's a fresco painted on all four walls of a room. And the room was used as this sort of uh, room of initiation and for um, sort of ceremonies and stuff for this Dionysian cult. Um, and on the stage, on the walls are painted like the stages of the initiation process. Um, so basically like the story of the thing you're doing is painted all around you on this room and then you're sort of doing the ritual inside the room and it's a completely immersive like sound and visual environment and it's from long ass time ago um so it's uh, in my search for like uh, a foundation for the art for the, like the theory and history of virtual reality and for immersive work i am researching roman frescoes but um it was interesting one thing that he wrote in chapter two which i've been thinking about is one of the reasons that people make immersive work, or maybe it's not a reason, maybe it's just a fundamental property of immersive work, is that it cannot be compared directly to other pieces in the moment. So if you think about a painting in a gallery on the wall, you can walk up really close to the painting, you can walk far away, but the farther away you walk, the less of your visual field it takes up, and the more you have the ability to like look around and look from painting to painting and sort of do a visual comparison between two things. It's, a fundamental property of that work. But immersive environments cannot be compared one to one because you have to be completely surrounded by the work in order to be looking at immersive work. Otherwise you're just looking at a thumbnail which is not the same as the piece in itself. Um, and I hadn't really thought about that. I hadn't really thought about the deconstructive of sort of relativism or like the deconstruction of the ability to compare things being sort of a property of immersive work. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about today as I'm reading this book and waiting for yoga and hanging out in the park and enjoying breezes on the side of my head. That's, that's nice. Oh, Ooh, relax with me and listen to the park. Oh man, another thing is that I am so hungry, Lord. I guess I should get 